How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video and it seems that the news at Bungie hasn't been going well. We've already heard that they've had 220 departures from the actual business. We know that they've had another 155 going to Sony being integrated there and another new studio being set up with another 75 staff taken from there plus an incubation game removed from Bungie to become exclusive to PlayStation as opposed to their multi-platform uh decision which must be driving which would have been dri driving sony nuts because uh they would rather hell freeze over before they put a game on xbox which is a uh, a bit of bad form but it is what it is that is the sony way but it looks like the news at camp bungie just isn't going right and now what we're hearing is that the news coming from uh jason schreier is that marathon which was supposed to release this year that got pushed to next year could actually be pushed another further year because the product itself is in development hell now whether this is true or not um he's only going by saying that he's heard but jason is one of those people who is quite hungry for the news and even though i don't like the way he gets his news and reports the news it is factually correct when he says it. Obviously, my falling out with him felt, you know, goes from all the way back to the Anthem days, the way I feel he exploited the staff to perpetrate them to tell him the stories that was happening within Bioware at the time, especially with that so-called Bioware magic. And then he instigated the situation to be a, you know, a Bioware-only problem when it was, you know, the whole crunch situation was a widespread industry problem and instead of highlighting it as an industry problem he decided to target one company which i didn't like and that's essentially why he's actually banned well blocked me but uh it does seem that in this uh friends per second podcast that he joined it does seem like the situation actually you know it wasn't great and let's have a listen to it see what he has to say because I think it's quite important that we actually get the context because this is going to dictate just how bad things are at Bungie right now and whether they have any future whatsoever because Destiny is in maintenance mode and if Marathon isn't firing on all cylinders, that's goodbye Destiny and goodbye Marathon all at the same time as they get consumed and, you know, you know it's almost like the Borg. They will become assimilated uh, within Sony. But anyway, if you are finding this content useful, before we do get into the content, do consider leaving a like, hit that subscribe button, don't forget to hit that bell to stay up to date with all content I release. If you want to become a member and support the channel, you can do that by clicking that join button below, or you can click that super thanks if you think that this video deserves any extra credit. But let's go on to the actual uh, window where we're talking about, and let's just have a listen to exactly what he is saying. Part of this equation, of course, is the human part, which is that like Bungie just lost between the the layoffs and the Sony moves. Mm -hmm. They've lost something like 500, 600 people over the last yeah. two years. And I think a lot of people forget that, like they've had a number of layoffs at the moment. They've lost a significant chunk of their workforce, a significant chunk, and they will continue to hemorrhage as time goes on if they're not making any money and from what we've seen the numbers of with people playing destiny have dwindled a lot of destiny players are now looking for a new home because they are simply not happy with the way pete parsons is running the business in fact the only way i see people actually you know picking destiny up and maybe it having any form of revival is if they get rid of pete parsons and i don't i just don't know if sony's prepared to do that but five six hundred people over the course of a year or two is a lot of you know developers to get rid of now i know people are going to bring up the whole merger with microsoft and the 1900 it's a merger it's going to happen this is different right this isn't two things merging this is them actively just getting rid of staff because they can't afford to pay them because of mismanagement the other situation is the majority of them were duplicate roles where they just weren't needed anymore it happens. A lot of whom were on either the Destiny team or support teams like QA and, excuse me, narrative and audio and player support. And so losing those people, you 
like are losing resources. You are losing people who contributed a lot to the game. And um, the people who are remaining are going to have to like work twice as hard because they have to do jobs of people who are now gone. And it's just kind of a, a messy situation that will just inevitably lead to challenges, unfortunately, for those people left. Mm. And I mean, speaking mm-hmm. of, I was going to say, what's the temperature check on how marathon is going? <laughs> um not great from what i've heard um mm. there's a reason that it was planned for this year and slipped a whole year and people that i've talked to are a little pessimistic about it even hitting its current planned deadline but we'll see i i don't know exactly when that is some sometime in 2025 i'm not sure um yeah i mean the sentiment i've heard is not great around it at least as of a few months ago mm that the overall temperature check there is not great i mean even the people on the actual show skill up and code they're just looking at this in such a defeated view because they're all they all love destiny they all want bungie to succeed but where it is right now it's just in such just dire straits and it doesn't look like it's going to get any better and if marathon fails that is the end. I mean, Bungie's all but finished anyway. The majority of the staff are gone. The ones that actually made Destiny what Destiny is are gone. Most of them have started their own studio. you got Luke Smith and Mark Noseworthy gone as well. Those were like the masterminds behind Destiny. Those were like, you know, the forefathers you could call behind Halo and uh, Destiny. And I really do hope that Phil Spencer does look into actually picking up... Uh, Luke and uh, Mark, because I think they would do perf- really perfect, really perfect re- um, at 343. I think they would work really well in steering the Halo back to the greatness that it was. They did great jobs with Halo 1 to 3, Reach, ODST, and I think they can do the same in reviving Halo again to the greatness that it once was. Don't get me wrong, Infinite, from all I've played and what I've seen and who I've spoken to, have said it's a fantastic game. I still want to finish it. But for all intents and purposes, it's not hit the highs of, you know, the originals and, say, Reach, which is still regarded as the best in the series. But Marathon is in trouble. It's in development hell, and it is not doing well. And that is a problem. That is a big problem. And that is something that they're going to have to figure out because if they don't, then that will essentially be the end of Bungie. And that is a big shame. A big, big shame. But hey, let me know what you think in the comment section below because uh, it just really seems like the news for Bungie is just getting worse and worse as we hear about it. It seems like the information coming out for Bungie, just it's just bad news after bad news. And, you know... Marathon is an extraction shooter. That era has come and gone. They're basically going up against games that people have been playing for the longest time, like Tarkov, and they they have to try and get people off it. And the last playtest they did, when the people came back, they basically laughed and said it was a colossal joke, it was a waste of space, it was a garbage game, and that they would never play that in place of something like Tarkov or anything else in the genre. And then it had like a shift to have hero shooters instead. So God knows what state it's in right now, but it doesn't look like it's going to hit the 2025 deadline as well. And if it doesn't and it gets pushed to 26, you can expect more layoffs because of that decision as well, because that is all costing money. But it's a damn shame. But you know what? Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Let's have that discussion. And uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. The once untouchable Bungie is being systematically dismantled. And, you know, even though I will add that this is this has been Sony's hope and dreams uh, all the time to try and get that talented stuff into Bungie and I mean, into Sony and, you know, take the goodness and just get rid of the waste. I really think that that was the end game. But, you know, even Sony didn't want to waste three point six billion dollars. So. Clearly, they've been stung by this as well. It just seems uh, Pete Parsons' luck finally ran out. They got lucky with Microsoft. They got lucky with Activision. You know, you can't constantly 
jump in and say the big bad wolf is the big bad wolf and I need to get out, eventually the big bad wolf is going to get his claws onto you and you're not going to escape. And this time, unfortunately for Pete Parsons, his luck ran out. But the people that paid the price for this are unfortunately the, you know, the, the front line. And that's always a sad thing. But let me know what your thoughts are. Let's have that discussion. Love to hear your thoughts. And uh, if you did enjoy this video, do hit that like button, subscribe, hit that bell to stay up to date with all content I release. And I'll see you in the next one. Remain legend.